today's video I am going to be re reviewing and demoing the Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush however it's going to be a compare and contrast type of video so here I have the original Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush and I also got the travel size version in marble so this is going to be a funny video because it will also show me to how my hair reacts to the detangling brush I use the Denman brush in the past and it wasn't really that pleasant so we'll see how these work and what I'm gonna do is get off the video and apply the kink drink by Sultanicals and also the nut sauce just to prime my hair because I'm actually plopping my hair right now it's freshly washed out of the shower and ready to go. I finish applying the kink drink and the nut sauce in all of these sections of my hair and I unpackaged the brushes and straight out of the box I realized a difference I don't know if you guys can see this one is a lot more compact than this one and it might have something to do with the size but that's just something I realized straight out of the box the packaging was quite easy for me to um, get all of the brushes out there was no frustration in getting the brushes out one difference is that the packaging came with this at the bottom for this brush for this brush I guess just to support it in the packaging that's about it nothing too special but I like it it's very professional looking and I like the feel of the brushes checking right now because one of the things that I wanted to make sure of mentioning is whether or not the bristles are seamless and they aren't seamless at the very top you can't see it here but at the very top there are seams right before the I like it's kind of like it's kind of like a paddle brush, but the nodules aren't as prevalent as they are on the paddle brushes. So what I'm going to do now is just try it out. There's nothing else left for me to speak on. And also I made sure to wash the brushes before applying them to my hair because I'm with everything that's going on you have to make sure you clean your tools before like right after taking them out of the packaging and right after use make sure you wash your brushes and all other tools that you use so I'm gonna try out the regular version first just for a first impression and I'm gonna try it here on a section of my hair that is somewhat difficult so I'm going to start at the ends. Just take out these earrings. You guys ever had problems with like these kind of earrings with the hooks on? I think for me it's like human error because I don't really take care of them as I should, but they do last a long time. So let's see. 
it kind of gets uncomfortable like when you have product on your hair already this is i mean it's gliding to my hair pretty nice and i like that and my hair feels the tango and i didn't have to use a lot of product to get this done And normally with this section, I have to go in and get the roots, but everything, I'm getting everything in one stroke. And my hair doesn't sound like it's ripping, and it doesn't look like it's ripping. I love it. And I don't see any, do you? I don't see much shed, nothing. Nothing really. Just some little pieces here and there. But nothing, nothing to talk about, nothing to bring home. So, so far, so good. What I'm gonna do is just. of this guys trust me otherwise it's going to get oily pretty fast just rub it in the palm your hands and then start from the ends go up to the roots make sure you get your roots ladies you don't want puffy roots part of my demo would be on the other side because remember these two sides are like the most frustrating sides for me because although I do have a great hydrating routine I find that I always have to make sure that these two areas right here in the nape the left the left and the right nape area back nape area is somewhat problematic for me so i always have to make sure i take care of them i deal with them first i let the deep conditioner marinate in them the most so that's why i'm testing out this detangler brush on these sections so now for the travel size okay let's see how this Goes starting from the ends. And as you can see, it doesn't have as much surface area as the regular size, but it's still getting the job done. Yeah, it's still getting the job done to me. actually like it a lot I don't normally like smaller tools because I have dense course here so this is actually amazing I feel like I have a lot more control with the travel size than I do regular size for some reason 
and like okay so i know what it is with the travel size i get to my roots a lot easier because of the size the surface area so you see what i'm talking about i'm getting to my roots it feels really nice and then when i get to my ends i don't have to hold this big chunk like here you see what i'm saying and then i'm just like this no i have a lot more control with this which is pretty neat so i don't know i think i might be using i think i might be using the travel size more often it's easy to use it really is and I have put up on my hand and it doesn't feel as like I like a lot um, of control with this one but here is the downside all of these shed heels yep so This is what I would probably conclude from this whole review and demo is that the smaller the size, the, the more likelihood for my hair to shed more or to offer the brush to take out more of my hair using the same size of sections but i think if i had used a smaller like section like calf it wouldn't have taken out as much here all right yeah so that concludes my review and demo which one do i prefer in regards to performance, I really do prefer the travel size, but overall, less shedding, um, more, mm, let's say, more fullness. I see a lot more fullness with using this one. I felt my hair get, got smoother with this one, but it got smoother faster with this one so hmm, it depends so what i'm gonna say is i like both of them but when i want to really go in with smaller sections i'm gonna use this one and when i want to get through my hair a lot fast i'm gonna use this one for sure because it hardly brought out anything and if i have to say that my left side is the driest of both sides so yeah definitely gonna use both of them i love both of them use this on smaller section ladies and use this when you want to just get through your detangling session a lot faster but if i have to really and truly conclude about what i think is the best detangling routine you have to be finger detangling you have to be finger detangling because i can do the plain hands method like this i can do the rake method like this plain hands method rake plain hands method rake and my fingers can feel everything okay but with these now at the top there are seams around around the the and the ball of the bristles so i have to be mindful of that as well all right so i'll see you guys in another video thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and see you in the next one